I wanted to capture a quick workflow for creating migrations and seeding the database as well as implementing a couple of eloquent relationships. The database schema and table relationships that we'll be looking at in this video are based on the example of patients and accounts. Let's say that whenever a patient comes into a clinic for a different treatment issue that will be represented by a different diagnosis code and that will trigger the creation of a new account for the patient. So in this case there will be one patient with many accounts and each account belonging to one patient. So before we begin I'm starting with a fresh Laravel project install. I'm running Laravel on Valet and a local MySQL server. I'm referencing the Laravel documentation as well as Laracasts and the PHP Faker library on GitHub. We'll begin with patients. We'll generate the model, the migration, and the cedar files. We'll then update the parent cedar file as well as the model factory and then repeat those steps for accounts. And then we will get into the eloquent relationships on the models as well as addressing the foreign keys and foreign key constraints. The directories we will be making use of are the app directory, and the database directory. In the database directory we will be referencing our model factory, our migrations will show up here, and our seed files will show up here. So within our terminal we will begin by creating our patient model. We'll run PHP artisan, make model, patient, and we'll add the migration flag to generate the migration at the same time. This patient model will establish the eloquent relationship with the account model and we'll get into that shortly. For our patient's table migration we will add the first and last name to the schema. Next we will generate our cedar file. So PHP Artisan, make cedar, patients, table, cedar, and I'm just following the Laravel convention. Within our patients table cedar file, we're going to populate the run method with a call to a factory method. Factory, app, patient, and this is how we reference the model, and 50 is the number of records we're going to create and persist to the database. Within the database seeder, we need to have it reference the patient's table seeder. Next we go to the model factory. We have the default user template. So we'll copy and paste it and make use of it for generating our patient fake data. Once again, we reference the patient model. We don't need the static password. And all we're requiring for patient demographic information in this case is the first and last name. And the faker library I referenced earlier has a number of different formatters like first name that can be used for a wide variety of fake data. With those steps complete, let's migrate the database. We'll run PHP Artisan Migrate. With our patients table migrated, we can seed the database. For that, we'll run PHP Artisan DB Seed. Let's run PHP Artisan Tinker and take a look. By saying DB double colon table and then referencing the table and calling get on it, we are using the Laravel query builder syntax. And as you can see, it returns all of the records that have been seeded to our database. So we now have 50 patients. And if we wanted to see that within the eloquent syntax, we'll do the following. 
we say app patient and call get on that model and it returns the same data and now let's repeat those steps for accounts php artisan make model account and we'll generate the migration so we have both our account model and the accounts migration and to it we'll be adding the diagnosis code and patient ID as the foreign key we'll add the diagnosis code as a string we'll add the patient ID as an integer making it unsigned and making it an index now we'll identify the foreign key on the ID of the patient's table and we'll add the constraint that on deletion of a patient we will delete any related accounts next we can generate the cedar file php artisan make cedar accounts table cedar and within it we will call on the factory method reference the model and this time let's create 100 records and I'll explain this association with the patients table in just a moment let's update the database cedar so now our database cedar will reference both the patients table cedar and the accounts table cedar when it builds the fake data for our database tables and for that fake data we'll go to our model factory copy and paste this format reference our account model we'll have the diagnosis code and I'll explain this diagnosis code variable in just a moment and we'll have the patient ID and we'll make it a number between 1 and 50 and since we're generating 100 records or 100 different diagnosis codes in this example we will be having a repetition of the patient IDs because they're being generated from numbers within the range of 1 and 50 and that implies that we'll have the same patients returning for different treatments and it's the eloquent relationship between the patients and accounts table that we will be utilizing for managing this relationship efficiently so this diagnosis code variable is generated from this code that I have pasted in here ICD-10 is the format for healthcare diagnosis codes and it has a letter followed by two numbers a decimal point and then another two numbers so that's how we end up with this format we'll run PHP artisan migrate reset to roll back our migrations and in essence start from scratch then PHP artisan migrate to remigrate the tables and their schema. Next we can seed the database with the patient values and in addition to that the new account values. We'll take a look with Tinker. If we run DB double colon table accounts get we're using the Laravel query builder syntax to take a look at all of our new accounts so we have 100 records and lots of different diagnosis codes being randomly generated the patient IDs 49 14 so each of these relates to a patient let's take a look at the eloquent syntax and it produces the same results so we now have 50 patients and 100 accounts and that implies that some patients have more than one account let's go now and set up the eloquent relationships within the models 
So we'll create a method called accounts and it will return the has many relationship on the accounts model. Again, all of this information is within the Laravel documentation. So what we're saying is the patient has many accounts and now we'll be able to call this method on the patient model. For the account model, we'll reference our patient model by saying an account belongs to a patient. Now we'll test out these relationships in Tinker and we need to make sure to exit out of Tinker and then log in again in order to have those changes to the models take effect. We'll do app account get in order to retrieve our list of accounts again. The get method is already defined on the eloquent object and we saw that we added to our models the additional methods. The patient method on the account model and the accounts method on the patient model. With that in mind, let's take a look at the patient with an ID of 14. So let's set up a patient variable and have it be equal to app patient double colon find 14. So Tamia Goodwin is associated with the patient ID of 14 and now we can call our accounts method on the patient model. Here we can see that she has two accounts with an ID of 83 and an ID of 99. So she's come in for two different reasons was the logic we were implementing with our models. And if we wanted to see the inverse of that, we can take either account 83 or account 99 and it will reflect our patient with the ID of 14. So we'll say account equals app account find 83. We know the account is associated with the patient ID of 14, but if we were working within our code and we're retrieving it in this fashion, we could say account and call the patient method, and it pulls up the patient as we expected. Because we added the foreign key constraint on the accounts table, when we delete a patient, that's going to flow through and delete all of those associated accounts. So let's see this in action for our patient with the ID of 14. So we have our patient variable set. We run the delete method on the patient model, and the delete, like get or find, being automatically set up for the object. So we should have deleted accounts 83 and 99, and it's null. So we know that we have had the foreign key constraint successfully applied, and upon deletion of the patient, we successfully remove the related accounts. Let's take a look at one that we know that was not affected because it had to do with another patient and it's still there. So it wiped only those accounts associated with patient 14. And that is what I wanted to cover for myself for future reference in setting up new table schemas and their related references. So just to recap, we have our patient model that we generated an accounts method for with the has many relationship so the patient has many accounts. We have our account model with a patient method, so an account belongs to a patient. We have our two migrations with their schema. And regarding this accounts migration, we have the foreign key that we've added where we're saying that this patient ID is referencing the ID on the patient's table and whenever a patient is deleted from that table, we'll go ahead and delete any records within the accounts that are associated. We have the Cedar files, so this is where we're defining the model to be used for our factory method. 
which will create the fake data, as well as the number of times we want that data to be generated. We did the same for the accounts table seeder. Within the database seeder, we reference both of those files, and this file makes use of the model factory where all of the fake data are being generated through the faker library. And from our terminal, we run the artisan commands, whether it be PHP artisan migrate, PHP artisan db seed, and the PHP artisan migrate reset for rolling back all of the earlier migrations and starting from scratch. Thanks for watching.